Hello and welcome to this video introducing Shape, Midtones Global and Local Contrast Manager. Let's open Shape from Window, Extension, Shape. We can leave uh, the panel here or dock it and then dock it or keep it floating compacted or expanded. Shape is a contrast enhancer plugin. The shape slider controls the amount of contrast. Because of the two protect sliders, it mostly affects the midtones. The protect sliders by default are connected to shape, shape 35, protect 35, shape 38, protect 38. But you can tweak them independently by unlocking the padlock. The sharpness sliders control the sharpening. Shape is applied anytime you tweak a slider. Or you can go to Preferences and uncheck Light Review Mode and Save. Now you can tweak several sliders and apply Shape in a single run. What else? Let's go back to Preferences where you can try the HB color mode instead of luminosity or change the color boost option and save. Run. This is basically how shape works, but I want to show you now the core of shape. The frequency range control where shape stands out its competitors three frequency ranges. High frequency controls sharpness, mid and low frequency controls shape. The current values are 3, 50, 200. Let's try now to 4, 16, a big gap, and save. Now I want to check, compare the newer version with the previous one. So instead of a launch shape, I tick new and I get a newer version. Friends. As you see, there is a huge difference, but the two versions share the same values. They differ, they are different only for the frequency range settings. Two such different versions. The left one is more brilliant and natural. The right one preserves more highlights and shadows and enhances the smaller details. Looks complicated? Don't worry, the presets make it easy. Instead of working manually, you can use the presets. Any preset uses a different combination of frequency ranges, shadow and highlight protection, and color boost. Global provides a prevalent global contrast look. Local provides a prevalent local contrast look. USM is a, a specific preset for sharpening only and custom by default delivers an effect between global and local but you can customize it at like. Choosing a preset you set the contrast style then you can tweak the contrast amount using the sliders. Let's start again from scratch. I reset anything to default and I try with global. Then I hit new 
and get the local version. Then I hit new again and hit the default custom version. And now we can we can check, we compare the two versions. Probably we can improve uh, the custom one. So we go to preferences and uh, reduce, for instance, the highlight, reduce the shadow, and uh, make 8, 32 to try, and 12 color boost, and save. Now I hit again custom, and this one will replace the previous one because I didn't hit new. Now I can compare again the three versions. And let's assume that you like more this one. And now we can improve this version. A bit more sharpness, a bit more protect of highlights because of this area, and a bit more of shape. One last thing, let me apply the three versions, global, local, and custom. If you like more the latest version, the custom, just proceed tweaking the sliders. But if you like more another version, for instance, the global one, you have to start again because currently shape is using the frequency of the custom one. So, trash, relaunch global, and now you can trigger the sliders accordingly. And remember that in the preferences, this section controls the current settings while this section on the bottom controls only the custom preset. So if you want to change uh, something in the current working file, for instance, make 160 or change uh, the sharpening value, you have to set them here. Well, this is our suggested workflow. Open your file, apply the presets using the new button to choose the counter style, compare the global, local and custom versions, improve the best one by tweaking the sliders. You can try shape yourself by downloading the trial version, the sample file package, and the local and global contest enhancement booklet with different shape version compared to next. Please find all links below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.